Hi, I'm a Bullis student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about contrapositive proofs and their relationship to number theory. So, as we've talked about in previous videos, number theory is all about asking questions about math and using formal proofs to answer those questions. And in our last video, we talked about using direct proofs to prove conditional statements, or if-then statements. But we can also use what's known as a contrapositive proof to prove if-then statements, and a lot of times this is easier. So if a direct proof was defined as proving if P then Q, then a contrapositive proof is defined as proving if not Q, this is the symbol for not, then not P. And this is logically equivalent to the direct proof method, but a lot of times it's easier to prove. So if we take an example like, if Johnny likes apples, then Johnny eats fruit. Using a contrapositive proof method, we would prove this by proving that if Johnny doesn't eat fruit, then Johnny doesn't like apples. And these two statements are logically equivalent. So why does the contrapositive work? Well, let's look at another truth table. So here's our gigantic truth table again, and remember, even though it looks intimidating, a truth table just shows all of the different options for conditional statements. So there are four cases that a conditional statement could fall under if P is true and Q is true, if P is true and Q is false, if P is false and Q is true, or if they're both false. So just looking at the first line of this gigantic truth table, if both P and Q in an if P then Q statement are true, then not Q and not P are both false because they're the opposite of true statements, so they have to be false. Then P leading to Q is true because it's, two, it's a true statement leading to a true statement and not Q leading to not P is also logically true because a false statement would lead to another false statement. So the point of this table is really that these two columns show the same information. And if we look, this is what a direct proof shows, P then Q. And this is what a contrapositive proof shows, if not Q, then not P. So the truth table shows that both proofs give the same logical result. They're both valid. So a contrapositive proof is a valid way of proving things because it gives you the same result as a direct proof, as shown by the equivalence of these two columns. So let's look at an example. If we have the conditional statement, if 7x plus 9 is even, then x is odd, and we're assuming that x is an integer, we could prove this directly by showing that uh, if 7x plus 9 is even, that logically leads to uh, x being odd. But we can also prove this contrapositively so let's say, suppose x is not odd, thus x must then be even, and so x equals 2a for some integer a. And we know that x equals 2a because that's the definition of an even number, just like an odd number was defined as 2a plus 1, where a is an integer, even numbers are defined as x equals 2a. So the even number 4 equals 2 times 2, which is the integer. So, then 7x plus 9 must be equivalent to 7 times 2a plus 9, 
because we've already said that x equals 2a. So then, four, so that equals 14a plus 9, if you distribute the 7, and 14a plus 9 is equivalent to 14a plus 8 plus 1. And we want to get that 1 out of there, because then we can factor a 2 out of 14a plus 8 and get 2 times 7a plus 4 plus 1. Thus, that means that 7a, 7x plus 9 really equals 2b plus 1, because b can just be represented by the integer 7a plus 4. Therefore, 7x plus 9 is odd by the definition of an odd number, because an odd number is 2 times an integer plus 1. 7x plus 9 is not even. So, we started with x is not odd, which is not q, and we ended up with 7x plus 9 is not even, which is the same as not p. So we just proved this if-then statement using the contrapositive proof method. This has been a Bullis Student Tutor video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out all of our other great tutoring videos on our YouTube page. Thank you.